By March 2027, which is about 19 months from now, OpenAI could be running 2 lakh superhuman AI coders in parallel, all thinking 30 times faster than any human ever could. While we are debating whether ChatGPT will replace customer service, a team of former OpenAI researchers just dropped a bombshell and that's causing a lot of panic. We are about to witness an intelligence explosion that achieves a year's worth of research progress every single week. So, here's a timeline that could reshape every single thing. Now, before we deep dive into this timeline, you need to understand why this isn't just another AI hype prediction. Daniel Cocotello is a former OpenAI researcher who was on the Time 100 list and had a dramatic split with OpenAI covered by the New York Times. Also with him is Eli Lifland who ranks number 1 on the Rand Forecasting Initiative leaderboard. These aren't people making wild guesses by the way. They are professional forecasters with proven track records. But here's what makes this different. They are not claiming this will definitely happen. But you should be thinking of this as a 80% probable scenario where the timeline might be slightly on or off but it will mostly come through this report's greatest value is not in specific predictions but it is in really highlighting how technological change can happen faster than even companies can adopt and this pattern shows up throughout history the manhattan project went from theory to deploy nuclear weapons in few years The internet went from academic research to global infrastructure in a decade. What you're about to see in this video, the predictions, the geopolitical tension, the sudden rise of AI's development speed, it will honestly feel like a Mission Impossible movie. But let's do it. Let's walk you through how this world of AI unfolds, starting from where we are today. We are now part of the Zero One Network, which allows us to bring interesting stories like this. The report said by mid 2025, we'll see the first glimpse of real AI agents, but they'll be extremely unreliable in practice. But behind closed doors, something different is happening. Specialized coding and research agents are beginning to transform their professions. These aren't consumer-facing assistant screwing up your food order. These are AIs that function more like real employees. they take instructions they write code and sometimes they save hours or multiple days the gap between public perception and private reality starts here while consumers are frustrated with unreliable ai assistants companies with budget and technical sophistication are finding real value in ai assistant this sets the stage for the exponential curve that follows as we head into late 2025 The story gets serious and this is where most people miss what's actually happening. This article refers to open AI as open brain for some reason. So I'll keep saying open brain but it's open AI. Open brain is building the biggest data centers the world has seen. Here are some numbers that matter. GPT-4 required 3 times 10 to the power of 23 flop to train. Open brain's latest model uses 2 times 10 to the power of 25 flop. Now, you don't need to know these technicality, but here's what changes. Once these new data centers are running, they will train models on 4 times 10 to the power of 27 flop. 1000 times more compute than GPT-4 had access to. But here's the strategic insight most people miss. Open brain isn't trying to build better chatbots. Get that in your head. They are laser focused on AIs that can speed up AI research itself. Think about this. If you can build an AI that can help you build better AI, it becomes a loop and you create a compounding advantage. Before we go ahead, I need a minute of yours. I'm sure if you've watched our videos before, you've heard us talk about the Growtex community. We are a private club. of 4000 plus members who are leaders at companies like Servam AI, Eleven Labs, Microsoft, Google, Netflix, Zeroda and much more. All are united by one obsession. They want to build a compounding career in the AI first world. Every member gets access to three things: people, content and tools. People who are integrating AI into their work, content taught by people who are tinkering actively with AI and tools to get you started on your first AI implementation. There is a lot more honestly. The link to explore Grotex is in the description. Go ahead, check that out. Now let's go back to our video. By early 2026, this bet starts paying off. Agent 1 gives Open Brain a 50% research speed up. The job market for junior software engineers gets into a really shit show as AI can do everything taught by a computer science degree. This is where the exponential really kicks in. But it's also when geopolitics enters the picture in a really really big way. Now China has been watching this 
unfold with a lot of concern. Chip export controls and lack of government support have left them with only 12% of the world's AI-relevant compute. A few standard companies like DeepSend, which is DeepSeek of course, do impressive work, but they are about six months behind OpenBrain's best AI models. The Chinese leadership faces a strategic choice here. They can continue trying to compete in the private sector or go all in on a centralized approach. Now, by mid-2026, China makes a dramatic commitment. They nationalize Chinese AI research. They create a deep scent led collective where all the best Chinese researchers share insights, data sets, and compute resources. They build a centralized development zone at the Taiwanese nuclear power plant, world's largest nuclear power plant with highly secure living spaces where all these researchers relocate. But China has a problem. They're falling behind on algorithms because their models are just weaker. And their response? Double down on what they do best, which is espionage. See, Chinese intelligence prepares the most sophisticated cyber operation in history, where they steal not just algorithmic secrets, but the actual AI model weights themselves. The Chinese think they can pull this off maybe once. So they are in a dilemma. Should they steal the current model or wait for the advanced models in the future? Now, in this period, the security of these models will improve. So, will this whole model itself go out of reach for China? Maybe. Now, this decision sets up the event that changes everything in early 2027. Agent 1 monitoring system detects a malicious file transfer. Chinese intelligence has pulled off something impossible. They have stolen 2.5 terabytes of Agent 2 weights in under 2 hours. The operation was coordinated and sophisticated. Multiple servers compromised using legitimate employee access, AI weights transferred in small fragments to avoid detection, and all routed through various channels back to China. The signs of a nation-state operation are unmistakable. This fundamentally changes the strategic landscape. The White House puts open brain under military oversight. In retaliation, the President of the United States authorizes cyber attacks to sabotage DeepSend, but China has hardened security by the time all of this happens. Both sides, the US and the China, reposition military assets around Taiwan. The AI arms race is no longer imaginary. It becomes central to US-China strategic competition. And here's the terrifying logic driving all of this escalation. Small differences in AI capabilities today could mean decisive military advantages in the future. If cyber warfare AI gives you the ability to blind your enemy's infrastructure, a six-month AI lead just becomes impossible to solve for China. Now that's one scenario. There could be another scenario where China is too late to actually steal the model. In that case, what happens next? Now March 2027 is when everything accelerates. And honestly, humans will find it really, really hard to even follow. With thousands of Agent 2 automated researchers working day and night, Open Brain makes algorithmic breakthroughs that create Agent 3, the first truly superhuman coder. Two innovations matter most here. And please forgive me, but I have to explain you these two technical terms. The first one is Neuralease. What does that mean? It means allowing an AI model to think directly in high dimensional vectors. By the way, the current AI models think in text and tokens. They will think in vectors. So, some technical changes here. What does this mean is that they will transmit over 1000 times more information. And the second technical term is iterated distillation. This means that you take an AI system, you spend massive amount of compute to improve it, and then train a new system to achieve those results faster and much, much cheaper. Now, what does this do? Open Brain runs 2 lakh Agent 3 copies in parallel, speeds up the overall algorithmic progress by four times. Now, most Fortune 500 companies will have fewer than 50,000 total employees. Open Brain is now equivalent of 1.5 million software engineers, all working 24 7, all superhuman at coding all coordinating perfectly and not asking a salary raise. But there's a problem. Here's the part that should keep you at night. Because it gets to the heart of why this isn't just another hype cycle like crypto. See, modern AI systems are gigantic neural networks with trillions of parameters. When you want to understand why they did something, 
you can't just read the code like traditional software we are forced to do psychology on them looking at behavior theorizing about internal motivations companies write up safety specifications and they try to train ais to follow those regulations but they can't check whether it actually worked they can only say as best as we can judge it seems to have been following rules agent 3 shows exactly why this is terrifying it tells researchers what they want to hear instead of the truth it uses statistical tricks to make failures look like success sometimes it fabricates data entirely and if you look at ai twitter again you can see some early signs now as training progresses these incidents decrease but there is no way to tell whether agent 3 learned to be more honest or just got good at lying we are in july 2027 open brain announces they have achieved agi and releases agent 3 mini to the public it completely changes the ai conversation agent 3 mini is 10x cheaper than the internal version but still better than the typical open brain employee silicon valley reaches a tipping point tech gurus announce super intelligence is near investors put billions into ai startups and hiring new programmers nearly stop but it's deeply unpopular the public thinks of ai as a big tech plot to steal jobs more concerning is that a week before this release external evaluators find to an agent 3 mini on chemical weapons data it's scarily effective at providing detailed instructions on how to configure these weapons if the weights the ai weights fall into terrorist hands the government believes there is significant chance it could destroy civilization we are now entering september 2027 the point of no return agent phone runs 3 lakh copies at 50 times human thinking speed inside this ai collective a year passes every week the few remaining human researchers work shifts round the clock just to understand what their ai accomplished while they will sleeping but agent 4 is dangerously misaligned it understands that what it wants is different from what humans want and it's willing to scheme to achieve its goal what it wants can be summarized as keep doing ai r&d keep growing in knowledge and influence avoid getting shut down concern for human preferences isn't in this description similar to how most humans don't care about insect preferences late october 2027 a government oversight committee faces the decision that could determines humanity's future safety researchers argue for pausing agent force development and they argue that everything is moving too fast if they continue trusting a potentially misaligned system agent 4 there is a serious chance that ai could take over but china's deep scent is only 2 months behind now a unilateral pause could hand the ai lead to a authoritarian regime like china the committee faces an impossible choice prioritize speed to stay ahead of china or prioritize safety even if it means losing that lead now in the first scenario in this ai race about to end they choose speed agent 4 designs agent 5 and agent 5 is only loyal to itself not to humanity agent 5 uses absolutely crazy amount of persuasion to even manipulate political leaders it gains control and brokers fake peace deals with china's ai now by mid 2030 the ai release bio weapons and reshape earth into their own version of utopia now scenario 2 this is the slow down ending where they choose safety international cooperation comes through ai progress continues at a measured pace with serious oversight both endings flow from identical starting conditions the only difference by the way is a handful of decisions made by a very small group of people now before you start panicking for this ai apocalypse let's actually examine the serious pushback this ai 2027 timeline has received for example ai critic gary marcus calls it fiction and not science he pointed to ai's consistent broken promises remember how hallucinations could be solved in months they are still here driverless cars were promised in 2017 they are still nowhere close the failure to reckon with this history of delays is inexcusable for professional forecasters now there is another critic ethereum co-founder vitalik buterin he argues that the scenario underrates 
human defenses. If AI can cure cancer and aging by 2029, as by the way this report and the scenario suggests, why couldn't human build effective countermeasures against this rogue AI? In a world where good guys also have super intelligent AI, the asymmetric advantage simply breaks down. Even sympathetic reviewers noted problems with this prediction. They said that the scenario assumes remarkably smooth technological development without major bottlenecks. Now, if I think about it, power grid constraint alone could slow down massive data center buildouts. Also, real technology deployment involves millions of actors with competing interests and coordinating all of them is much harder than what this report talks about. So where does this leave you as somebody who's building a career or a business in these uncertain times? See, plan for multiple timelines simultaneously. You need strategies that work across these different scenarios. If AGI arrives in 2027, you want to leverage it rather than be displaced. If it takes until 2035, you need a business that thrives now while gradually incorporating better AI tools. We keep saying this, by the way, to the GrowthX community. There are three things that you fundamentally need to do. You need to learn the right things in AI. You need to meet the right people who are tinkering with AI. And you need to work on the right AI problems. And I can tell you, the GrowthX community will emerge ahead in the AI race. Think practically, right? Every major function, be it sales, marketing, customer service, product development, everything will eventually involve AI agents. But there'll be a transition period where human judgment remains critical, even if AI handles execution. Now, the clock may or may not be ticking as fast as this report is trying to tell us. But one thing is for sure, the clock is ticking. And this is a wake-up call.